again once again with another tau overflows how does one get inspiration in life everyone lives in his or her own narrow boundaries boundaries created by the family friends the lifestyle in order to be inspired you don't need someone else to inspire you you can look at a particular circumstance and situation that alone can be an inspiration to you how that is possible look at the life of siddharth he was born in royalty all sort of comforts were there it was destined that he will be the next king but the destiny has something different before he was conceived his mother saw a six headed the white tusker appeared in the horizon slowly and slowly it descended and it vanished into her she immediately recognized realized that the soul that is taking birth within her womb is not an ordinary one and after the then she was going to her father's place and she had to pass through the forest of lumbini under and she felt the pain of pangs of labor she continued to walk under the sal trees and this is the only situation when the delivery happened child was born while maya devi was in a standing position all sort of when the astrologers said that this child will leave the world and renounce so the king got worried this was the only son and that too was born at an advanced age traditionally everybody wants the lineage to continue and that can only be continued through a male child so it was told that try to provide all sort of comforts for god siddharth so that he does not see the reality of life so he got married to a most beautiful person yashodhara palace was built where all sort of comforts many women wine all alcohol all these kind of comforts which is conceived by the the royalty was provided to him one night there was a dancing party i used the word dancing party because this way you will understand in this liquor flowed profusely he saw the beautiful women lying in various awkward positions mouth slightly open flies hovering he asked his chariot that he want to go for a ride chariot took him this was the destined he was living in the narrow boundaries of his palace 
comforts of the palace, for the first time he came out of his narrow boundaries. Circumstances and situation happened which changed the course of his life. How Siddharth became Gautam the Buddha. When you come out of your narrow boundaries and you enter in the broader world, your horizon of thinking changes. This has happened with Gautam, with Siddharth. That fateful night, he went for a stroll. He went for a stroll and with his charioteer, first he saw an, a sick person and seeing that he asked what happened to this person. He was told that this man is sick. Now natural the other question comes in. Does everybody get sick? So then he asked, will I get sick? Yes, everybody gets sick. That is the destiny. Second incident happened. He saw an old man with wrinkles, teeth sunken, the cheeks sunken, the back bent, walking with a staff, walking a stick. What happened to this man? He is old. Does everyone get old? Yes. Will I get old? Yes. It happens when somebody dies, we go for a funeral play, for the funeral service. We do not think that this death can happen to me. The moment you realize, that's why these three questions, what happened to this? Does everybody get sick? Will I get sick? Unless this question comes in your mind, will I get sick? Will this happen to me? The process of transformation does not begin. Third, he saw a dead body being carried by the family and friends. They were lamenting, crying. Buddha asked, what is this? He said, this is a funeral um, procession. Why funeral procession? This man has died. So the family members and friends are carrying him for the funeral service. Does everybody dies? Yes. Will I die? Yes. You too will die. These were the three important questions that brought revolution in the life of Siddhartha and the journey from Siddhartha to Gautam began. There were 1800 different schools of yoga and traditional systems. He went through all. For six months he remained one grain of rice. He was doing the normal ways and means, fasting, rituals, nothing happened. There were five disciples with him. So when Gautam leave the traditional path of fasting and rituals, these people thought that Siddharth has got astray. So they leave him. Siddharth went on his solitary journey. Six years he continued to wander. In order to get the basic questions, why do miseries and misfortunes come? Why all this? Why there is pain? And is there a solution to the pain? Solution the pain, the physical pain, we think that if the pain is because of some reason, that cause should be removed. If there is a psychological reason that, you know, they, you have a turmoil or upheaval in family relation, so you find that remove that cause, I'll get the solution. It does not happen. 
what happens you have to seek within seek that which never born that which is never born can it get sick can it get old can it get can it die ask yourself a question something that was never born never died can it any of these things happen to it that is eternal you have this performance this recording is happening within a room one day these walls was not here one day this room this facility was not used as a studio but the room was always there it was used as a bedroom but before that there was an empty space so that empty space was encased into the narrow boundaries of the walls ceilings the deco and everything and so what it is these walls are transitory they will decay and it is said physics says the matter is moving at a tremendous speed that we cannot see just as fans blade are stationary when they go into motion you cannot see the blades of the fan because they are moving at such a fast pace we are not seeing that the wall is de decaying because the change is taking place at a, such a tremendous speed so what it is here that has always been be before this room came into existence while the room is here and when the room walls and everything will not be there that is the space within you can call that space is soul or god element so if your focus moves from the walls ceiling tables this table is here it has a certain span of life after that it may start rotting then you have to change it so body undergoes that change first change is sickness then old age then death but that which enters the body is never born never dies so when you are connected to that can you be saddened you are unhappy because the walls that you have there where this the walls that comprise this room paint is getting faded so you have to repaint it the cupboards looking ugly you have to repaint it the bulb has blown you have to change the bulb all these things will happen to this room not to the space and when there is no light you will not be able to see this space because there is darkness so this darkness of ignorance when it vanishes then you see that which is never born never dies the air the space that is here is never born the space is specifically is never born never died so soul which is the space which is the cosmic presence is never born never dies it enters the encasement for certain purposes for the purpose of having the studio and recording all these facilities desk the air conditioner all this is made this room that was basically in any other facility it would have been bedroom it has or children's bedroom or adult it has been converted into studio so buddha went into search for that which is never born never dies in that it took a long time it is like you take the onion start peeling off when all the layers are removed what you get in the end nothing is there anything inside the onion you think that there is something inside the onion which makes the onion 
it is the layers upon layers and then the skin that make a particular structure with a certain qualities we know as onion. So this is here Gautam's search began and he discovered that which is never born never died. The moment you realize that and you start realizing that is the beginning. When you start living with that understanding that is awakening or enlightenment. That's why Gautam Siddharth became Gautam the Buddha. The journey from Siddharth to Gautam is the journey of enlightenment. This journey of everyone from what you were and what you are now. You are in the process of transformation. The moment this process is completed, you will be enlightened. But the journey has to continue without any interruption. Only this much for this morning until we meet again for another such overflow.